I thought on hardware time. Okay. So much has happened. Python on Hardware Time, um, we do a yearly post, and this year um, I'm going to do the same thing I did last year is, Lady Ada, um, after you've read the post that's on Adafruit's blog and on the socials and probably other places, what do you want to see in CircuitPython 2023? What do you want to see in CircuitPython 2023? Are you asking me now? Yeah. Okay. No pressure. Uh, no pressure. So, um, so a lot of stuff's going to happen. First off, we're going to finish releasing 8.00 because we've done so much stuff with Wi-Fi, adding Pico W support, which is really great. Um, and, you know, Pico W is also going to be adding Bluetooth support soon. So we're going to do some Bluetooth work. Uh, we'd like to add BLE for ESP32 um, series chips. And uh, the Pico W, we're going to see how they're doing it. And so maybe we can, like, have some of that work overlap. Um, the chip shortage is not completely, completely over, but it's, like, way less unover than it was before, if that makes sense. Um, so one of the things I want to revisit is the IMX chipset. I basically, we were, like, about to release a bunch of boards with it and then could not get those chips at all. Now they're all available again. Um, so it's a Cortex-M7. It's a really nice chip, and it's it's not too expensive. Um, it's uh, used, that family of chips is used in the Teen C for those who are familiar with it. Um, I also have some uh, fun project hacks I want to do. Um, we're going to add some camera support, um, maybe some more graphic support. Um, you know, I think those are the, the core things. So basically BLE, IMX chipset, USB host, which yeah. we added to the RP2040 um, in Arduino. We're going to try to port that over and maybe to CircuitPython, have that be like a fun, fun hack. You need to give up a core and all the PIOs, but like, it's really neat to have USB host um, as a secondary interface on the RP2040. I think that could make for some very cool projects. Okay. Um, for mine, mine is more project-based, but it's, um, would it be possible to start someone, first you make um, the most simplest thing with CircuitPython. Yeah. And then you build up to, oh, I wanna have like, you know, we have the ruler project. Yeah. It says PCB ruler. And then the next thing maybe you would make is a um, calculator. Yeah. Maybe you would make a computer mouse. Maybe you make a keyboard. And then maybe you would make your full computer running Python. Yeah. So all, there's a lot of things that would go into that, you know, pure Python computer. Um, but I like the idea of like getting all the way there without having to really know the how to code. But then as you learn more, um, it's like an onion. You know, there's multiple layers to it. So someone can just get started with electronics and programming and cobble together their own device. Like, I want to make my own mouse and keyboard. And then yeah. after, they can just continue building that. And as they do that, they eventually work their way up to like, oh, now I have a full computer that I just built. It would be cool if like, you, know, you build like a, a, a computer built with RP2040 chips, but like every peripheral and device, like your display yeah. is RP2040 and like your main processor is RP2040 and the mouse and the keyboard, like yeah, the whole yeah. thing, everything is that. Cool. That'd be funny. Okay, open source hardware.